Today I just wanted to do a video on a few healthy snack options that have helped me, um, you know, satisfy my hunger, um, help me with my weight loss and in between meals, especially if you're dieting and you're cutting calories and eating smaller portions, if you have healthy snacks to keep your metabolism going throughout the day without grabbing, um, you know, fattening or fried foods or overeating at meals so you can stay full to the next meal. I don't promote having breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I promote having breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And I do think that you should maybe have a little snack after dinner, but I try not to eat anything other than a fruit or a vegetable after about 7, 30, 8 o'clock at night because I just feel really bloated in the morning. I don't know if it's just my body, but um, if I eat something big before I go to sleep, I like to be, you know, comfortable. I never like to go to sleep with like starving or anything. So make sure you just always keep your body full. Even as a good strategy for weight loss, you never want to starve yourself. If you feel starving, you are doing something wrong. Your metabolism is going to crash. Um, you need to get your body something to eat. I don't mean a four course you know, fast food, snack, dessert, ice cream, sugar-packed meal, <coughs> dropping stuff, but I mean something that will um, feed, you know, your body, your soul, some healthy food that will not hinder your weight loss, but will keep you satisfied for the whole night. So I am going to start out with a few things that I like to eat during my day um, to keep me full. My first thing that I start out my day with every single day is a protein shake. Um, it's really quick and easy for me to just throw a bunch of stuff in the blender, to blend it all up and to bring it to school with me on my way as I drive to school. And it keeps me full until about noon when I have my lunch time. Um, a few different ways I take my protein shakes to school I either take like a blender bottle like a shaker bottle or I sometimes take my a big Starbucks cup that I have or sometimes if I'm running out the door and I still want a protein shake something quick and easy or if I'm hungry after school and dinner's not ready yet or I didn't make dinner yet um, I will grab one of these and this is a light and fit protein shake it has 12 grams of protein 5 grams of fiber, and only 140 calories for zero fat. The only thing that I have to say that I would not recommend this for is if you're on a low sugar diet because this does have 12 grams of sugar. Um, this is a strawberry flavor. I've tried the mixed berry flavor. I'm not a huge fan of the strawberry, but I mean it says 45% fewer calories than regular yogurt drinks, which I guess is okay. And it contains 0% juice and it has calcium, 35% 35 of your daily value of vitamin D. And it does have 14 sugars and that's the only downfall to this. I mean, it does keep you, you know, satisfied for a little bit, probably because of some of the sugars in there. But this is just like a healthy snack that's zero fat, so low fat. And, um that I like to grab in the mornings when I don't have time to make my protein shake. This is a protein. Um, I showed you guys this in my bodybuilding haul. Um, it's the Quest Chocolate Milkshake Protein. I love this stuff. My favorite shake in the morning, aside from my berries and cream one that I make with my pure protein, vanilla flavored, and um, berries, is a chocolate um Banana shake, I just put one scoop of this, one tablespoon of unsweetened Hershey's cocoa powder to make it extra chocolatey, one banana. Um, I do use kale in my shakes every morning, which I will show you the best kale that will not taste like kale in your shake. It will still give you those amazing vitamins and minerals that your body needs. Um, I just do this, a couple... Ice cubes to your liking. I like my shakes pretty thick, so I usually put about seven to eight ice cubes in there. I whirl it up, and I make sure everything is completely mixed together. Um, that's one of my biggest things about protein shakes. I do not like the protein shakes where you throw the protein in with the water and shake the bottle. That's 
they get clumpy. It makes a healthy snack turn into something you don't want to eat. And I think healthy things should not taste bad. The perception that all healthy snacks and healthy foods taste bad, I think, is completely wrong because if you manipulate the healthy snacks in the right ways, they can actually taste pretty darn good. So that is two things that I usually will grab if I'm hungry. Another thing I eat a lot of is Greek yogurt. This is the peach flavored. Um, this is only 100 calories from Yoplait. It has 10 grams of protein, 9 sugars, um, and 14 carbs for only 100 calories. It is the Weight Watchers kind. It's fat-free, which I really like. Um, like I said again, yogurt is a lot of time high in sugar if you get like the flavored ones. But it's not the worst thing in the world for you because it has 0 grams of fat. And if you're worrying about fat, carbs, and protein, the whole macros plan... And this probably is an okay um, choice for you to have. And what I like about Greek yogurt opposed to regular yogurt is the more protein. And it does keep you fuller longer. And it feels like it has a more substance to it. A lot of people say that they don't like Greek yogurt. It was completely new to me. A lot of people like, don't try it. It tastes like sour cream. The Oikos kind, I feel, is the strongest taste of sour cream. If it's your first time ever tasting Greek yogurt, I would not recommend getting un or original or like vanilla or something because it, if you're not used to the flavor, it does have a very dense texture and very strong flavor that can be sometimes mistaken for a sour cream that's trying to be masked as being sweet. So I would pick a flavor such as peach or key lime is my absolute favorite or something that would appeal to you outside the whole yogurt factor. So that is a really great protein-packed snack. What you will find with my snacks is I look for lowest calories, lowest, lowest fat, and the highest protein content. Because with how much I work out and lift, protein is the most important thing to me. Every single meal I try to get in, Protein, 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 protein to help muscle recovery, muscle building, promote lean muscle health as I'm trying to promote, you know, being a girl. I love, like I said, I can build bulky muscle, but as much lean tone muscle I can build is, you know, is always good. So another thing I make um, sometimes for a quick snack, I actually made them tonight for dessert to my, I made a... Um, I would do a video on this, a recipe video. Like this video up if you want to see a recipe video on this. Grilled chicken, kale, um, and vegetable pasta. So good, you guys. So good. Oh my gosh. It was low in fat, low in carbs because I used these, um, they were like rigatonis that are infused with vegetables. They're really, really, really good and they have lots of protein. I can do a whole recipe video on that if you want me to. So like this video up at the side of asparagus. It's all about balance, people. You can still have what you like, but if you make it at home, you know it goes into your food. But getting back to um, my protein cookies, in these, I'll show you guys one. I put a little slice of banana on top. They're chocolate banana oatmeal cookies. And what I do, I use oat flour, so I just take organic steel cut oats, a cup of them, put them in my food processor, process them up until they have a flour consistency, um, mix that with an egg, one egg, one and a half bananas I did, um, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of unsweetened Hershey's cocoa powder, and then I just shake in some extra um, Quaker organic oats for a little bit of a texture thing. Put them in the oven, 375, seven minutes. Come out, wait till they're a little bit like a hardened consistency because they're almost like an oatmeal crunchy, almost granola bar like cookie. I put a half a scoop of the Quest protein powder in. Wow, guys, so good. It makes you feel like you're cheating, but always cheat clean because you don't have to have some big lavish cake to get your sweet tooth taken care of. You can do it the healthy way. You can do it the healthy way, and it's going to taste really good. So 
that is my, I have, have um, a recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies. Basically, I love to use oat flour because um, I just feel that the way the complexity of the oat breaks down the body with the protein and the good fiber and the benefits of it, I just really, really love oats. Um, I just feel that they're really, they always work with my body. They don't make me feel bloated. They make me feel good and energized and ready for whatever the day brings. So that was my recipe dessert. Like this video up if you want to see more. Another thing that I really, really love um, to bring with me, you know, to school, you know, in the middle of a class, you get a little hungry. Don't do that. Don't let your metabolism drop. Always be drinking too. Drinking really helps with hunger cravings because nine times out of ten, you're not hungry, you're thirsty. And that's people's problem. They eat and eat and eat when they are thirsty. And because a lot of times our drinks contain sugars, high fructose, corn syrups, caramel colorings, everything that makes your blood sugar spike and then drop. And then it actually makes you thirstier and hungrier when you eat those and drink those substances that are really not made for your body. I mean, water's pure. You can see it straight through it. I always look at pop. Pop is black in the color. Do you really want to put that into your body? Unless it's that black mineral water, don't put that into your body. Um, I bring the light string cheese to school. Cheese, you know, a lot of, if you don't have like a dairy um, issue, I think it's one of the best snacks if you can find a low-fat source of it, a skim milk source of it. Um, these ones I have are the Sargento brand, and they are the light st string cheese made with 2% milk, 50% less fat. They're only 50 calories per stick, 2.5 grams of fat, zero sugars, and 6 grams of protein for one stick. So really, if you have two sticks, for 100 calories, you're having 12 grams of protein and zero fat. Almost the same as the Greek yogurt, but no sugars. I'm sorry, you're having 2.5 grams of fat times 2, but you're having zero sugars. And if you're counting your sugars or if you're a diabetic, honestly, cheese is the way to go. Full of protein will keep your body fueled, you know, until your next meal. Know the balance. You don't need a high sugary snack, even though it might taste good going down. Two minutes on that palate could be a lifetime on your hips because we all know that, you know, sometimes life happens. and Sometimes you can't get to the gym. But as long as you eat a clean, healthy diet, I always look at diet and exercise like an iceberg. 30%, I like to say even 20% is working out because... Abs are made in the kitchen, people. If you put into your body crap and then you go work out, if you don't have a rocket-fast metabolism, which you probably don't or you wouldn't be overweight in the first place, if you are, if that's you, um, that's not going to be to your best benefit. And if you are and you're still getting results, think of how much better results you can get if you would feed your body the proper nutrients and the proper amounts of protein. Internet is a wonderful search engine tool. Type in how much protein am I supposed to have to gain, to lose this much mass, gain this much muscle, lose this much fat. One thing don't go by, don't go by the scale because you can stand on the scale two weeks. Go work out, work out, lift, 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 lift. Go back on the scale and you could say it lost one pound, but in theory you lost 10 pounds and you gained nine of that back of muscle. So you need to not trust the scale, take the me measurements, and know what you put into your body. If you put into your body crap and your scale says you haven't lost any weight, that's still fat. If it says you have lost some weight, know that you could have lost a lot more and benefited your body a lot more by eating these healthy snacks. Even if you're not hungry, a little snack during the middle of the day in between meals is going to boost your metabolism Make your body burn off that food. Make your cold water along with it. will boost your metabolism. Get your metabolism going. Burning the calories. Burning the fat. Getting to you to where you want to be in your workout goals. Another snack that I absolutely love. Um, 
I sometimes put like a blueberry puree with it, or I have those little like 100 calorie one of the break stones. Um, this is the craft kind. It's called Simply Low Fat Cottage Cheese with 2% milk fat, and it is the small curd. I absolutely love this stuff. A lot of people don't like the texture. Um, this is only 90 calories for 10 grams of protein for a half cup. This is perfect to have with celery sticks, carrot sticks, you know, or have a balance. Say you want a little something else that day. Maybe have, you know, a piece of bread in this. Bread your little splurge. This is your healthy element. You know, you got to have balance in your life. But this is great, great sense of um, protein. It really has a lot of amazing qualities. For only 2.5 grams of fat, you're getting 10 grams of protein. Um, a person my weight, it says for how much I work out, should have between 75 to 100 grams of protein a day. Um, I try to top that. I try to go over because I am trying to build muscle. Um, but this 75 grams of protein a day, a little scoop of this, I already am down. What is that like? A lot percentage of my protein for the day just from eating this one thing. Just think about a whole 24 hour day. What are you up that? I'm about 20 hours that day, but sleep is another good thing to have. But sometimes we all just can't get that in life when you have stuff going on. That's totally understandable. But if you feed your body the right things, get your protein in, you can, you know, feel better even if you don't get a lot of sleep. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is something that I truly believe in that a lot of people think is absolutely disgusting. The first time I tried it, I cringed. Um, I have disguised it as spinach in a few of my dishes that I've actually cooked. So people wouldn't know what it was, but then I told them and he's like, oh my gosh, really? But my, I am a big advocate for kale because kale has an excellent source of not only vitamin a, vitamin C, and vitamin K. Um, vitamin C is the number one blocker for, you know, the common cold. They say, oh, drink your orange juice. You don't want to get cold. Get the vitamin C in. No, don't drink your orange juice, people. Pack with sugar. Unless you're, like, really need electrolytes, try to stay away from sugary drinks, okay? Eat some kale. And you know what's great about kale? One of the greens that has protein, packed with protein, okay, for three cups of this stuff, now I'm not saying to eat it on its own, but for three cups of this stuff at only 25 calories, you get three grams of fiber and three grams of protein, 70% of your daily vitamin A intake, 30% of your calcium intake, 160% of your vitamin K intake, 35% of your daily intake of magnesium, 35% um, of vitamin C, 6% iron, and folate is 15%. So this is an excellent source of tons of vitamins and minerals that your body would be lacking without. Iron, it's very important to get your iron in. If you are iron deficient, you are going to be sleepy all the time. You are going to be drowsy. Um, vitamin A... Vitamin K, very important vitamins for your um, skin, hair, health, eyes. Um, calcium, you know, bone structure, no osteoporosis when you're 65 years old. One thing I advocate for is baby kale. Okay. Regular kale, even though it may have a little bit more nutrients um, packed into it, has a very, very bitter taste. It is. Even when I ground it up in my shakes, literally my shake, I'll put like one leaf in there and it will smell like grass. Like I just mowed the lawn. Baby kale, this is the dull kind. I got this at Walmart. Fairly expensive, inexpensive. However you look at it, honestly, it's worth the money. As much as you would spend on a pack of vitamins that you would get that you take one in the morning and you pee out your vitamins through the day. That's why people take vitamins at breakfast, lunch, and dinner usually, um, multivitamins, is because your body takes in those vitamins. On the back of a vitamin um, container, it will say 
300% of your body's daily intake of vitamin whatsoever, X, Y, Z, and then you have to take it three times a day. The reason for that is your body only absorbs a fraction of that vitamin. Most of that vitamin, if you're drinking your proper daily amounts of water, is actually broken down within the fluids in your body and you excrete it through urination. Um, when you eat foods like this where your body physically has to break them down along with other foods, more nutrients can be absorbed, okay? So I just take about a cup of this in the morning, rinse it under some water. This has a lot of a spinach flavor. It's very mild. Grind it up with my shake. Make sure I have lots of other flavors and yummy um, fruits and maybe even some vegetables in my shake sometimes. And it tastes... It doesn't really taste like anything, but I know that it has more fiber in there for me and all the wonderful, wonderful nutrients that I'm getting from that kale. Please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or I'm going to be uploading videos on more tips, um, recipes. Please put them in the comments below. I hope everybody is um, on track with their health because remember, if there's one thing in life, you can always, always control what you put into your body. You pick up the piece of cake or you pick up the apple. You guys pick. Stay beautiful, stay fit, and always love yourself. Remember that physical activity is one of the things that people lack in America, and it has led to an obesity epidemic, epidemic excuse me, that is affecting our children of America. So get your kids active, get your brothers, your sisters, Educate them. When I was 10 years old, my mother educated me on this is what would happen. Even though I got bigger, I was still educated to a point where I was able to bring myself back and say, Amber, let's go. Bring yourself to the gym. It doesn't have to be a gym. Organize family sports. Any time you can get you or a loved one moving, you're doing nothing but benefiting yourself and benefiting your future loved ones because they can enjoy your company for many more years to come. Well, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it up and put in the comments below any other videos you would like me to do. Until next time, thank you so much and stay beautiful.